Let's go on to our division. Predict we're gonna predict who we think are gonna win these divisions, who we think are gonna be the wild card teams, and then we're gonna pick, you know, who we think is gonna be MVP and who's gonna be in the Super Bowl, man. So I'm gonna start off with mine. We're not gonna go by like division by division. We're just gonna all say what who we got winning what and you know a quick explanation of why we got them going there. I'm gonna start in the NFC. I'm gonna start with the NFC North, which is the the, the division of the beloved. I've got uh, the Detroit Lions winning the NFC North once again. They went 30 years without winning uh, a division, and I think they're going to win this joint once again. They've got a much tougher schedule. Um, they've got a first place schedule, but one of the things about that schedule is they don't. They only. I think they only have two games outside, and that don't even come to like the final weeks of the season. I think it'll be a tougher year for them, but I do think it'll be enough to win the NFC North. In the NFC West, it's going to be more of the same. I, I, I don't trust the Rams. I like what Arizona's got going on, but I don't think they're going to do it this early. Um, Seattle I, is a real question mark with them. Uh, no Pete Carroll there, no Shane Waldron there. I really want to see what Geno's going to look like. In that point, I think this is going to be the San Francisco 49ers again. I don't think they're going to win as many games they won last year, but I do think they're going to win that division uh, with ease, honestly. <clears throat> NFC South. This, I think, is going to be a two-team battle. Um, you know, the Bucks won last year. Uh, Baker Mayfield finally looked like the quarterback that people hold to be when he got drafted by Cleveland all those years ago. They brought him back, gave him a nice deal, brought Mike Evans back. The team is pretty much intact from what it was last year. I think it's going to be a real toss-up between them and Atlanta, but I'm going to give the edge to the Atlanta Falcons. I think if Kirk Cousins is healthy, um, I think he'll be enough to help this out. You know, you've got – we've been saying for the last two years, they got all these weapons. They just need a quarterback. I know Dante wanted him, wanted uh, Justin to be there. A lot of people wanted Justin to be uh, in Atlanta. Uh, Kirk Cousins is a better quarterback when healthy. Um, now, if he gets hurt, I don't trust the Michael Penix. Uh, so, if he does get hurt, I think it would be a question mark. But if he stays healthy, I think Atlanta – uh, will win this um, division. In the NFC East, I've got the Philadelphia Eagles. I think this is going to be the NFC least again because I'm not high on the Eagles. There's a lot of question marks about what's going on in the locker room. Does Jalen Hurts even, uh, you know, mess with uh, Nick Sirianni? There's been a lot of rumors about their relationship. And also, we got to see, can Jalen Hurts get back to the play that he had in 2022? He had a good last year, but exactly, it wasn't the MVP caliber of a production that he had um, two years ago when they went to the Super Bowl, man. So those are my um, the NFC um, division winners for AFC. I'm gonna go to the AFC. Excuse my uh, my camera for moving. I I'm by a fucking train, so there's only so much I can do for that. But <laughs> in the AFC North, um, I got the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm going with the Cincinnati Bengals because. Joe Burrow. This is a make or break year, in my opinion, for Joe Burrow because he has to stay healthy. But when he's healthy, he is the second best quarterback in the NFL, the only quarterback uh, not named Tom Brady to beat Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs. And I just really believe what they got going on there when this team is healthy. Even when he wasn't healthy, they still stay competitive in the mix in the division. Uh, you know, question marks there. You know, you do have T. Higgins won't be playing this week. He's out. Uh, Jamar Chase is questionable because he's still getting back in the game shape. Uh, he's going to play without that contract extension. So there's some questions there, but I still think it'll be enough uh, to win this division. AFC West, there's nothing else to be said. Kansas City Chiefs, I ain't even really got to give you a reason for that. Just look at the rest of the niggas in that division. Uh, AFC South, it's going to be a tougher division this year. I mean, it was tough last year. I think Indianapolis can compete. I think that uh, Jacksonville, this is a make or break year for Trev and and uh, Doug Peterson as well. Uh, I I'm not I'm not as big on Houston as everybody else as far as like making the Super Bowl and shit like that. But I do think they'll win this division again. I think CJ Stroud is going to be great again in season two. I see no reason why he'll take a back back uh, you know take a uh, step back. Uh, you got Stephon Diggs there, another year of Tank Dale. You got Joe Mixon in the backfield. They added Daniel Hunter to that uh, defense and another year of D'Amico Ryans. So I think that they will win the AFC South. AFC East, this is a tough one for me. I went back and forth uh, between the Dolphins and the Jets, and I can't believe I'm saying this because the nigga who's a quarterback, I hate more than uh, the devil is fucking self. That is Aaron Rodgers. I got the New York Jets winning this division. I think if the Jets are healthy, 
uh, if uh, all of this is with healthy, but especially a guy coming off an Achilles injury in his age. Uh, Aaron Rodgers take away the fact that, you know, he is just not a likable human being. Uh, his own mother doesn't even like his bitch ass. He can throw the fucking football. Uh, and I do think that him and Garrett Wilson be a great connection. You got Brees Hall, a year removed from that ACL injury. And uh, that, defense, that defense is nasty, and I think they'll be even better. I've got the New York Jets winning the division uh, for the first time since the Rex Ryan era. So those are my division winners. I'm going to go to Bang. Bang, who you got coming out of these divisions in the AFC and the NFC? Let me go ahead and pull up my notes uh, because we talked about this on some dude. Um, make sure to listen to the latest episode. Um, be delusional. Um, in the NFC East, I got the Dallas Cowboys. Um, very rarely, I think it's been years since somebody repeated. Um, but I have more faith in the Cowboys than I do have in the team that's playing tonight, the Philadelphia Eagles. In the NFC South, I have the Atlanta Falcons. I think that's just going to be a runaway um a runaway division um win for the falcons um in the nfc north and speaking of being delusional i got the chicago bears in fact i think that the last game of the season i think the last game of the season is going to have the bears versus green bay um fighting for that last um for that that well that division title so there's that um for the nfc west i have the rams i think that the 49ers is going to take a step back um i think that the rams Um, Matthew Stafford, you got weapons um, on each side um, of the wide receiver position. He has a one of the better running backs in the NFC and Kyron Williams. Um, Offensive line is pretty decent on the defense. um, I have um, some high hopes for at least one of the players on that defense. They don't have Aaron Donald, so it remains to be seen what happens. But I do think that they take a step up. The San Francisco 49ers take a step down. Um, In the AFC, um, I have the New York Jets winning the AFC East. Um, The Texans winning the AFC South. The AFC North, I have the Bengals winning that one. Um, And, of course, the Chiefs are going to win the AFC West. Uh, you, you you drinking all the best Kool Aid? I would love to clinch the division in Lambeau. Field oh, hey man, be season. delusional, be, be delusional. delusional, be delusional, Bears fans. Uh, Mikey, how you see these divisions shaping up this year? All right, let's get it. NFC North, I got the Lions. I just think that they're built better, better in the trenches. Um, and they're gonna just, they're, I think that they're gonna go ahead and win uh, this division. Uh, NFC West. I got the Niners. As much as I want to go to Rams, I got the Niners. But I do think that this is the last year of the the current Niners iteration as we know it with Kittle, Debo, and McCaffrey um, and Ayuk. I think that they're going to start transitioning to kind of being a little bit younger at the skill position spots. Um, NFC South, I'm going to ride with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Um, I just uh, trust more in their defense. Um, I really do. Uh, like Baker, May- Baker Mayfield and the career that he's putting for himself uh, down there. I think it's very tough. I, you guys have heard me say it before. It is very tough to play down in uh, Florida late in the year. So that is a built-in home field advantage. I'm going to ride with them. You know, although I do think the Falcons will be improved. In the NFC East, I'm going to take the Eagles. I think Vic Fangio is going to have this defense humming. And I think Keller Moore is going to uh, allow – uh, Jalen Hurts to do some things in the passing game that we might have not seen yet, you know, from him in his career. Uh, in the AFC East, I want to ride with the Dolphins, but I can't trust them. So I will take the Jets. Um, they do have a very – it's going to come down between the Jets and the Dolphins. I think to me uh, they do have a very tough back half of the schedule. But I think the Jets, as long as Aaron Rodgers stay healthy, we know that he will not trick off the game for them, and their defense is pretty good. So um, I'll take the Jets and the AFC North. All things considered, and everything that we said the last segment, I'm still taking the Ravens. Um, you know, they gave the Chiefs their best shot. And a lot of teams would not be able to hang with the chief with the with the Ravens the way the Chiefs do. So I'll still take uh, the Ravens to repeat. Um, in the South, I'm going to ride with the Houston Texans. I'm not a believer in Anthony Richardson. I think the uh, I think the Titans will be improved, but I don't think they're ready. And the Jaguars, this is the year that Doug Peterson gets fired. He will get fired after the Bears beat them in London. I'm calling here. For mm. And then in the AFC West, it's you know. I'm going with Bo Nix. Fuck out of here. I'm going with Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I'm going with the Chiefs. Uh, Dante, hit us with your picks for the division winners. 
All right, yeah, let's uh, let's talk AFC East. I have the New York Jets winning the AFC East. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be healthy, and I think that offense is going to be able to put up a lot of points on people. So, uh, no, as long as they keep him upright and that ACL, I mean, that Achilles is right, I think they're going to win that division. Uh, I think we're going to see a fall off on Buffalo without any uh, real receivers. You know, I know a lot of the Keon Coleman hype because of his personality on social media. But, I mean, we got to see him actually play and see what they do with that. So that's uh, the AFC East. AFC North. Um, he said, let me take a swig pick, in my drink. <laughs> I wanted to pick Joe Burrow. I really did want to pick Joe Burrow, but I actually think that the Baltimore Ravens are going to win that division again. I think um, this is going to be a very tough division. Like, I don't know what the quarterback situation is in Pittsburgh. And uh, obviously, I've taken the fan glasses off when it comes to Justin. So, I mean, even if he does get the start, we'll still have to see what they do. That offensive line has a lot of question marks. So, I think with that division, I think you're going to see Baltimore take that. Um, the AFC South. I still got Houston. I got Houston repeat, and I think they will have, uh, you know, more challenges this year because, you know, you're not catching anybody off guard anymore. Now people, you know, have a year worth of film. Um, I think they'll still be a good football team, and they'll still win this division. But um, I can see them, you know, being a 9-8 and eight team winning the division yeah. because, you know, the rest of this division is still, you know, building. I think the Colts are still a couple years away. Uh, Tennessee – we got to see, like you said, that's a team that's damn near. They said it in the comments, like an AAU team. It's a lot of new pieces. Uh, Jacksonville has really put up a shut-up time for Trevor Lawrence. You know, he's avoided a lot of the slander uh, that he could have gotten because everybody else in his draft class was ass. So, I mean, they we've ignored the fact that he's been, you know, pretty up and down. But uh, So, I got Houston winning at AFC South. AFC West, like you said, Kansas City. Um, I do think the Chargers will be a surprise team. If you need tickets, holler at me. Um, I, got, I got a Raiders <laughs> ticket for sale. Um, Raiders let's head to the line. NFC. Oh, no, definitely. Uh, I got Dallas. I got Dallas repeating as NFC East champions. I think that division is going to beat up on each other. Um, they, they didn't win the NFC. Didn't Philly win the NFC? Session? No, they Philly no, Jack. Dallas. Dallas. Right. Dallas, yeah, Dallas. Dallas won. You're right. Yeah. Philly Jack. Yeah. But no, um, I think now this part, this may be uh, you know, hot take ish. I think there's going to be competition for that number two spot between Philly and Washington. Uh, mm. I, I, I'm one of those people I'm buying, I'm buying the Jaden Daniels hype. I think this is going to be very good. Left um, hand up. Who are we? The commanders. <laughs> that shit is crazy, but no, I got them. I think they'll be competing for two, but I think Dallas, I think Dak, especially, you know, contract year. We know how quarterbacks do in a contract year. I think Dak is going to go crazy this year and show Jerry why he has to pay up. And so they'll take that division. For our division, even though, yes, I do have the Bears going uh, 12 and 5. I got the Detroit Lions winning the division. Um, I'm with you. The Lions don't have a, a outdoor game until week six, week 17, week 16, week 16, 16 and 17 are the only two outdoor games. So I think that's a team that you're going to see win a lot of football games. I would, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm no expert like Mikey, but I would hammer the over line, the over, whatever the over wait, is. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, hold on. So you got the Bears winning 12, but the Lions winning. The, so you got the Lions going 14 to 13 or 14. Yeah. I got them winning 13. Oof. I got them winning 13 games. Like, I think them playing indoors, it eliminates a lot of the no, very true. You know, other advantages that, they, that the other team yeah. that, that the opponent will have. So I do think that Lions team is going to be able to put up a lot of points and their defense is going to be good again. So I, I, yeah, I got them winning 13, but I got the Lions winning our division. Um, NFC South. I try not to do this, but I mean, I'm rocking with Atlanta. I really yeah, think. I'm about to say, go ahead and say, you know, you know, you want to. Say. Yeah, because this is my thing. They were seven and ten last year, but anybody who watched the uh, the Falcons last year, five of those games were one score games, and I'm not talking about one touchdown. I'm talking about they lost the game by three points. They lost the game by two points. I swear to God, they lost one game seven to six. Like it. It was that bad on offense, and now you add Kirk Cousins, and if Kirk Cousins isn't healthy, you got Michael Penix in the cut, who looked really good. So I think you know with the weapons they have on offense, I think uh, another year Bijan Robinson, Bijan's gonna go crazy in that offense, and you still have Tyler Algier. They said the the uh, carries are gonna be split like 55, 45, which I think it should be more 60, 40, because Bijan is that good. But um, I think that offense is gonna put up a lot of points, and I think that defense is actually really good. You got Justin Simmons and Jesse Bates, Jesse Bates on the back end. You got AJ Terrell. Um, you added Judon. You got a healthy Grady Jarrett. 
So I think that's a team that, you know, they they can make some noise. And I think they're definitely going to uh, they're going to knock off Tampa Bay in this division. Um, and with the NFC West, I'm with you. I still think it's San Francisco until you prove otherwise. Uh, that team is still going strong. Um, Brock Purdy is one of those guys. He's like a Matt Ryan in the sense that he's really perfect for a Kyle Shanahan system because it's really just as long as you execute, it's going to be hard for him to fuck that up. And I think that's going to continue. So um, I think with the NFC West, I got San Francisco.